I am quite literally about to start bawling my eyes out, literally, while I turn British right there, bro. I'm about to start losing my fucking mind, dog. What is going on inside this bum-ass game? I've been vouching for the fucking two characters to survive this shit. Miu and Kaido. I lose them niggas back to fucking back? Oh my god, it's that bullshit. This that bullshit. And the fucking sound, man! I'm about to go crazy, bro. I'm mad as hell. I ain't gonna hold you at all. I'm mad as hell, bro. This nigga laughing in my damn ear. Why are you back up? I thought Monokuma died, bro. Oh my fucking that pathetic ass voice actor, bro. Why are they showing fucking Suichi's dingling like that? Uh, 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 like, nigga, put that shit away right now. Uh. We're already all here, nigga. Oh my fucking god. Uh. I thought it was over, man! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wanna cry so bad! I was so mad to even fucking load this game up. I ain't gonna hold you at all, bro. I had to take a fucking few day break, go play some Pokemon Anal, clear my mind a little bit, and then come back to this bullshit. Now I'm even more fucking mad than I was, bro! Shut your bum ass up now, nigga! God damn! Kaido is dead. Where the fuck is Kokoichi's bum ass at, nigga? What the fuck is going on right now, bro? Chapter 5. Purpose without what? I don't know what the fuck that dumb ass fucking title said. Nigga, speak, Suichi! Speak! What's going on? Exactly, bro. Listen to the theme playing right now. This is the same thing that played when Nagito was fucking strapped up, my nigga. Like, uh, 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 going crazy inside that room. Confusion and turmoil, sword and shield. Like, nigga, it's not fucking Pokemon. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Ah! Oh my god. What is that blood? The body discovery announcement. Does this mean someone's in that press? Who? Oh, who? Who? The only ones in that hangout were Kokoichi and Kaido. It must be one of them. What? Suichi is losing his goddamn mind right now, but like I am. Either Kokoichi or Kaido is dead? Oh, look! Who is it? Who is it? Oh my fucking god! Those clothes! We know whose fucking jacket that is, bro. Fuck! They're. They're Kaido's! And the one in the hydraulic presses! The music is going crazy right now, bro. Look at Maki's face. Uh, she mad as shit right now. No, 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 it's not possible. Please. Uh, bro. Get your bum ass out of here, bro. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game is all about, after all. Where is Coco Ichi at, bro? And so I will pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get very, very interesting. I hope you pour heart and soul into the investigation, too. Heart and soul? Nigga, stop bringing fucking Pokemon up now! No, hold on, we have to inve Damn, I love that song, bro. Fiction? Hold on. We have to investigate. So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue? If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then it means the mastermind Kokoichi is still alive. Oh my god, man. Ah! If Kokoichi is alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Oh, I want to fucking castrate myself, bro. Please. I got to cut my dick off. I got to cut my dick off, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Kaido. No, that's possible. There is there has to be some type of mistake. There's no way Kaido could die. It has to be a lie. Oh my god, man. I made a run for the body whim. Can we lift up the fucking press, please? Calm down. Maki's hands stop me. Calm down? How can you say that, Monkey Kaido is- I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother anymore. Even the nigga whose dick you've been trying to suck for the past three chapters? You want to go crazy on the nigga dealing, bro. No fucking way you fucking calm down by now. 
It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokoichi? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere inside this hangar. He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's flip and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good and hide and seek he is, we cannot let him get away with this. Wait. We can't leave yet. Bro. Isn't this the most, like, cut and dry fucking case we've ever had, bro? Y'all niggas down in the comment section, bro. This is the best case ever. This is the best case ever. You'll never decide what happens. Like, bro, what? Kaido is dead. And Kokoichi was the only nigga inside this fucking room, bro. Who else did this shit? Who else did it? Okay. We don't know for certain if that body is Kaido. God damn! That's where the twist might be. Whose body is that? We don't see Kaido's hand. We don't see Kaido's fucking dumbass face. Nothing, bro. All we see is that, uh, that fucking jacket. Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. If it's not Kaido, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokoichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Nigga, he's not the fucking mastermind, bro. He's been lying this entire fucking game. It's not him. And if Kaido is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaido being the culprit is even more impossible than him being That's dead. Impossible. What if it's not that impossible though? What if it's not that impossible though? What if Kaido did this shit? Bro. I thought y'all niggas are looking like, I don't know, too downward or some shit, bro. Y'all good now? Y'all good now, my nigga? Hell yes. I don't think Kaido could have killed Kokoichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? That's true. Actually. And that nigga had 25 fucking armed robots at his disposal, my nigga. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Here we go. Coco Ichi no. is dead? Or is it Kaido? What is happening, my nigga? Whose body is inside that shit? I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. Uh, and even if Kokoichi was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaido was the culprit. Oh. So, does that mean the culprit is one of us? Wait, that's impossible. No matter how shocking Kaido's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. Nigga, it's not too far, though, bro. I don't trust any one of you bum-ass niggas, bro. After Miyu died by Gunta, I don't trust none of y'all niggas. Hell nah. But I just can't believe that or perhaps i don't want to believe it i can't believe kaido is dead uh, let's investigate Woo! we need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal the truth of the trial so you want to continue the killing game a class trial will be held either way we should investigate i don't know if we'll find the hope and despair but we have to find the truth it all starts there come on suichi The last time we saw that nigga alive, bro. Why does he look so fucking different right there? He don't look like fucking Kaido, dog. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And he gave me nothing but words of fucking hope and aspiration and fucking glory, nigga. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaido. He's not even hurt that he just lost Kaido on some real shit. Like, how many niggas you gotta lose back to back to back? Will you just stop fucking caring, my nigga? Like, that's his best friend. His homie that helped him from the very fucking beginning, dog. He helped him to fucking conquer his depression, conquer his ego, all that shit. And we just lost the nigga. And Switch is still like, come on, we have to investigate. Like, nigga, damn. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Yeah, but we already know the answer. We can't just die here. We decided to live for hope. Exactly, my nigga. We gonna fucking vote for Kaido being the damn dead nigga. And Kokoichi gonna come out of nowhere like, Damn, you're wrong. It's gonna be some weird-ass fucking zany-ass answer. My main concern is Kokoichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit, if he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. What if it's not who we think? What are you doing here? No, I don't think so. Junko Bunko cherished the killing game rules, so if the remnants of the spirit worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. That's very true as well. That's very true as well. And it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know, bro. Would a trial be this easy? I have no fucking idea, bro. I have no fucking idea. If Kaido died... The only one that could have killed him was Kokoichi. But if Kaido's not dead, 
Then who the fuck killed Kokoichi, my nigga, bro? I don't know. What the hell is going on? I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaido's death so easily? She is the one to cry in front of us on some real shit, bro. I'm trying not to cry right now. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> like, I don't even want to be sporadic right now. I don't even want to be fucking all happy-go-lucky, jovial type shit, bro. Like, I'm really mad we lost this nigga. We lost Miyu, who I maxed out in friendship. And then Kaido, my favorite Danganronpa character all fucking time. I'm mad as shit, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm very fucking mad, dog. Like, god damn it. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Suichi? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see what the fuck it says, my nigga. Maybe it says who's... We don't know anything! The body was discovered in the Exo Hangar. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Nigga, who the fuck is it? The Riddler? What is going on right now? Rest in peace, dead nigga. <laughs> who is it? The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and unidentifiable. Imagine dying so bad your body is unidentifiable, bro. Who is inside that shit? Oh my god! We didn't find out anything! No! No! That's it? That doesn't tell us a goddamn thing! The identity of the victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that much? It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the corporate are. No, we don't, bro. The corporate who killed Kaido is definitely Kokoichi. Maki, we don't know that! Why is she saying it so fucking stern like she knows exactly what the fuck the answer is? Wait, Maki, it's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to the Kokoichi being alive, but Kaido told me... Kaido told you what? Don't worry, I'll do something about all this. So Kaido might have done it! And then threw his jacket in the last second like, nigga, we know it was you! That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't sit back and relax. You know what's crazy about this entire fucking game? <laughs> Kaido is the prime suspect in damn near every single fucking case, bro. It's always maybe Kaido did it. Always. I want you to believe the promise Kaido made. I want you to believe in that with me. I refuse to fucking investigate with you. Why are they so mad at me? Huh? What? Why? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaido back in Gunta's class trial. You mean... The nigga whose side you were on, Maki? I don't fucking forget anything, bro. You were standing right next to that nigga inside the fucking split decision shit, bro. Arguing against me, dumbass bitch. It was like that same time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki, you believed it was the other nigga too! Don't try to act all fucking up. Uh, fuck that hypocrite. Fuck that hypocrite, bro. Maki, if you wanna walk away, fuck you then, bitch. I ain't gonna hold you at all, bro. Fuck that stupid ass bitch. Maki turned her back to me and left. Then keep your fucking back turned, my nigga. I don't give a fuck, bro. Hell nah. Hell nah. I don't need you turning back like the fucking pillar of salt, my nigga. Whatever the fuck Chance the Rapper said. And left? Fuck you then. Alright, bet. If you wanna leave me, my nigga, then stay your ass over there on that side, bitch. Maki. Even Kibo and his Hajime. Um, There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the Electro Bomb is to blame or I'm malfunctioning somehow. But I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. I don't feel weird at all. It's got to be because of the Electro Bomb. Kibo's an electric appliance after all. Uh, don't call me the appliance. I'm not a fucking Roomba nigga. Yes, you are, bro. You're a fucking Maytag washer, bitch. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> Who's gonna help me investigate then, bro? What, Sumugi? Oh my god, man. I lost Kibo, Kaido, Kokoishi, fucking Maki, everybody. I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Investigate what? Why is there blood dragging from the fucking... What is that? Was he attacked outside? And then drug into the fucking hydraulic press and threw inside that shit? Oh my god! Kibo let the hangar swaying side to side a bit. That nigga walking like he's got some fucking good ass dare. Then I'll start investigating too. Himiko, ah! You don't ever do a damn thing! Oh, will you be by yourself? I can go with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. Listen to this fucking music in the background, nigga. Calm your ass down, orchestra. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. 
Yeah, ain't nobody touching that fucking body. Himiko left in a hurry. She walked three steps! I wonder if Himiko suspects... Suspects who? Everyone. Because there's a few of us. There's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokoichi, but... Like you said, there should be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokoichi or Kaido, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. We were united towards hope before all of this, but now we're split up again. Uh, could it be? That's why Kokoichi killed Kaido? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaido? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokoichi is going to all hold this class trial might be to separate us. Why did he have to die, though, bro? Oh my, Loki, I'm going to be mad whether it's either... Either if it's fucking Kokoichi, I'm still going to be mad as shit. But that nigga was an amazing-ass character, dog. Like, I'm, I lost two of my favorite characters some real shit, bro. Either Kaido or Kokoichi, and I already lost fucking Miyu. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaido. He was the one keeping us together. And that's why Kaido killed him. Then we're completely caught in this trap. Nigga, let me investigate this shit already, man. Let me get this fucking Sherlock homeboy, nigga. I need this shit. I need this shit. It's all part of Kokoichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't even get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. Where else can we even investigate, bro? We have this room right here. And that's it. Like, nigga, where else, bro? The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. No point in standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. Time to solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Come on! I gotta take a duke -a I gotta take a duke -a We ain't never heard this song before, my nigga. God damn! I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence inside here. Say less, my nigga. Here we go. Nigga line! Let's see this shit. We have the actual fucking robots themselves. Let's start from left to right. Operation panel. Hit that shit. It's a panel that controls the alarm system and the electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Nigga, flip the fucking switch so we can see whose body is inside that shit. There's an exosol green. Two exosols are missing. There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. Nigga, okay. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Where are the nigga hiding is inside the fucking... Nigga, move! Oh. Huh? The hatch is open? How strange. Only monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open from the hatch. Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Normally, the monocles are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well. Normally, being the key word. But because of the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, no one's asked me about it either. And even if they had asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. Nigga. What if they're just hiding inside the exo on the right right there? The niggas inside there right now laughing. Yeah, he <laughs> Like, nigga, no way. Electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must mean why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could dispose of the lock, you can control the exosol? Has electronic lock. All right, best. Say less, bro. Say less, bro. Check this one right here, nigga. Why is that one closed? It's completely still. Suichi is dangerous there. If you go near that thing, it might get torn no. apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the Monocubs or Kokoichi. Eh, so it's just a pile of scrap then? Jeez, don't scare me like that. Maybe I should just tear this hunk apart with my magic. And Miko, do it! Yeah, let's go! Do it! Oh my fucking god, man. I know she was standing like this. Ah, I don't have enough mana yet. Like, nigga, when will you ever then? Ah, but I suppose that if Kokoichi was alive, he could still move it at any time by remote. Ah, why didn't you say that sooner? That is if Kokoichi is still alive. But that remote control Kokoichi has for Exosols, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Nigga, no he's not, bro. I'm, I don't know, just mad skeptical about everything going on right now, bro. What? We have no fucking idea if Kaido or Kokoichi die. Just because that nigga's jacket inside there does not mean he actually died, bro. I might be just trying to fucking keep hope on it because I like Kaido so much. 
But I don't think he actually died, bro, on some real shit. Samugi, what you got? What you got for us? The Monokuma file this time barely has any information at all. Nigga, what do you mean barely? It has nothing, bro, at all. Yeah, it won't be much use of us. So it's so useless, he probably shouldn't have given it to go out of his way to give it to us. And he, he made a fucking grand interest to give us that shit too, nigga. Go away! Nice. It's fine, it's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. Ah, oh, he popped out! Uh, what an attention hog. Of course I want attention, I'm the mascot for crying out loud. Monokuma, I can't even respect you as a mascot for real, my nigga. You got jealous of Sonic the Hedgehog, nigga. Monokuma, you got no movies. You got no actual artwork, nigga. I need you to put some fucking points on the board. Sonic beating your ass right now. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that playing Jane Sumigi over there. It'd be false to advertise if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. Even Monokuma knows that nigga Sumigi has no points up. Hell no, nah, my nigga. She got maybe two points in the first quarter and then bits the rest of the goddamn game. No way. Uh. Alright, Monokuma, get your bum ass out of here. Samugi's talked to. Advertising? What advertising, nigga? You know what he's talking about. With these big ass jugs in your chest. Ignore it. Let's focus on the investigation. Yeah. Suichi, you're the only one doing anything anyway, nigga. You're the only one. Alright, let's see this shit. The bathroom. Check everything else first, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Check the washing machine. Did anybody die inside here, too? Looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Alright, nothing over there. I don't want to check that quite yet, bro. I don't want to check that quite yet, bro. The painting machine. Is that used for anything, my nigga? The machine paint the exosols, paint thinner. Alright, best. Say less. Nothing right there. Can we open up the fucking hydraulic press? These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up and down and stop. What the fuck is this machine even fucking for, nigga? What am I pressing down? What is this bullshit? I should be able to use the up button to raise and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body no matter who it is. But I have to do it. I have to know. I made up my mind to take a breath and press the button. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press wouldn't open. Why? What? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... Somebody cut the cord? The power cord is cut. I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move at all. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. That means they wanted us to not find out who the fuck the body actually was, bro. Something just feels off about this shit. Hydraulic press. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clues here. Nigga, then check that shit. In addition, the control buttons is also an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the Cobra were playing this murder, they'd have no use for it at all. What? It concerns me more. The safety function. It's supposed to stop when there's a body under there, bro. A living organism. Brain blast! A living organism. What if the person that was already under there was already dead? Meaning that fucking thing wouldn't have stopped, bro. It wouldn't have stopped. That's right. This hydraulic press should have stopped the safety function. And the infrared sensor detects a living thing. The press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. That nigga is a robotic nigga. It would not stop for him. It would not stop for him. The sensor detected a person. The safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? Safety function. The nigga was already dead, bro. They killed him inside the fucking bathroom. Drugged him over here. And crushed the fucking body. Crushed the fucking body. Hydraulic press. Let's check this shit. The hydraulic press is down. The area is blood. Fuck, man. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. If the power cord has been cut, the press won't move at all. In that case, we won't be able to check the body whatsoever. so fucking ever. God damn. A bit of clothing. My nigga Kaido. My nigga Kaido. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It definitely has Kaido's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... No, that hasn't been determined yet. Suichi is sticking with that fucking evidence, bro. And he's the detective, bro. He might know something way more than we do. 
I need to investigate further. It looks like the left sleeve is sticking out of a hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim body is actually visible. Were they crushed completely? So that the only the sleeve remains? Huh? What's this? What is that shit on the fucking sleeve, my nigga? I see that shit. The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Nigga, was the nigga shot? What the fuck is going on, bro? I think it was shot like 50 cent. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? Kaido's code. What the fuck? I suppose it's all about information. That, okay, bet. Say less, my nigga. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. I have to find more clues elsewhere. Nigga, like where, bro? Traces of blood. Back to the fucking bathroom. What is this, a blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern as if it's dragged. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain can sense. Okay, bet. Sales, my nigga. Check the fucking bathroom right now, nigga. Right now, nigga. Hell yes, bro. Let's see this shit. Woo! What is about to be inside this goddamn room, bro? What if we open this bathroom up and Coco is just laying there? Ah! And it's just that fucking killing thing, my nigga. No way. Who killed these niggas? This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. Kaido was inside that shit. I'm locked up in this bathroom with Kokoichi just outside that door. What if he heard us, bro? This is the place where Kaido was in prison. Kaido might have left some kind of clue here. Uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. The only thing, Soichi, my nigga, the thing about you, like, keeping such a stronghold in him being alive, if Kaido's alive, that means he did that shit. Like, look at all these fucking weapons inside here, bro. What? Look! The cross, bro. No fucking way, bro. Check and see if he took his shit right quick. We have the crossbow arrows, too. That's where that fucking hole came from. There are arrows in the floor in the bathroom. Next to these arrows was poison. I know y'all saw that shit. Is that how the nigga died? Three in total and blood on all of them. What is this? What happened here? Three arrows. Holy shit. Holy shit. Think about this shit, my nigga. The poison right fucking there. Doesn't the person have to show up for the actual class trial? Was that not a rule inside this game? The niggas not have to fucking show up at all, bro? Crossbow right here. Like, what if they just don't show up? We really don't know who the fuck died inside that shit. A crossbow. This is... And he's the only one that know how to do that shit, bro. Even I didn't know how to do that bullshit. One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. God damn. Why is this here? Crossbow right there. Say less. Say less. Say less. And the fucking poison. Man! There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. Woo! Nigga, what poison bottle just says poison on it, though? <laughs> hey, it's not real poison, nigga. That fucking great value-ass bullshit. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. What if the poison... This bottle must be... Take it from my lab! My lab coming into existence was the worst fucking thing that ever happened, bro. Like, nigga, why is there only murder weapons inside there? I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Small empty bottle. Alright, say less, say less, say less. Crossbow, arrows, nigga gun! The actual fucking trail itself. And I saw that up there too. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from the door. What could this mean? Blood stain in the bathroom. I think there was also a fucking spot up here to investigate. No, not that bullshit ass monitor, nigga. A window, a window. What is that briefcase over there? A small window for ventilation. This is... Where that nigga was talking through that shit. What if he was already in there soaking the fucking arrows in the poison, bro? Kaido, what were you up to inside this shit? What was he doing? Up? It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one will be able to get through here. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaido would have... Alright, best. Say less, my nigga. Bathroom window. Bathroom window. The briefcase. Is that what the crossbow is inside of? This case! What is this shit? What's in that black case over there? As if so He noticed it, bro. No way. This is the case from before, right? It holds the crossbow. It holds the crossbow. Hmm. Alright, I'm finished investigating the bathroom. There was more clues than I thought there'd be. And one is particularly concerning. Nigga, yes, the case, bro. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab inside here? That nigga stole... 
poison from my lab. Arrows in a bow from Maki's lab. Like, what the fuck is going on inside this shit? He used us to kill this nigga. And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely crossbow, but why are they all three bloody? And why are they all three just laying right there? In that bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Nigga, to soak the fucking arrows in that shit. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be very tricky. What the fuck else did I actually fucking investigate, my nigga? Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Like to leave? Absolutely. What else is there? The hangar right here. But nothing else, bro. That's about all I can investigate inside the hangar. There's still question. The truth is still far to reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is. I need more clues. I should investigate the other areas too. Nigga, like where? I should start with the other areas around the hangar. Alright, say less, say less, say less. Outside, we saw that big ass fucking uh, panel shit was broken like shit. Let's see what the fuck actually happened with that shit, my nigga. Who smashed that? Who smashed that? Kibo, what you find, my nigga? The alarm system is off. It must be affected by the electro bomb. I should investigate the place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Alright, say less, say less, say less. Woo! This shit. The shutter operation panel. What the fuck happened, my nigga? Who beat this shit up? Wolverine? It's the control panel and the controls. The electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit the electro hammer, but now it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. But what are these marks here? It looks like they've been struck by something sharp. What could it be? What if it was one of the fucking robots, my nigga? Wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting in the control panel should go to the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you actually get close to it. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel anyway? Hangar's front shutter. Alright, best. Say less. Say less. I don't fucking know it all, bro. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Suichi. Okay. Nigga, okay, bet. Go your ass back in there and help me fucking investigate then. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. Kibo the fucking homie now, my nigga, bro. God damn. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before we went inside the hangar this morning, you said... Said what? So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. He did say that shit, but what did you tell that nigga? He went to kind of like, yo, you should definitely kill that motherfucker. Like, nigga, no way you just said that shit. Yeah, she said the exos could pass through the alarm system and the barrier in the hangar. Somebody was inside of it. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the exo, I saw someone heading towards the hangar. You saw someone? I saw... So, Kibo, why didn't you think that would be important inside a case where we got to figure out who murdered somebody? Hamiko is a suspect? What? I was in my lab trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. He has a straight shot to this shit. No way. The walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. The black case. I think it was a black bag. She brought him the crossbow? Black bag. Nigga. I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokoichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. After seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What did she say? What, what did you see? No way! She was acting like she has something to hide. It's not that like I suspect her, but... True, it's suspicious. Hey. Absolutely. You said you saw her come back as well? Was she still holding the bag at the time? Now that I think about it, she didn't. It'd be the most unorthodox niggas that you fucking find out as a prime suspect, bro. Why did Miko do this shit? Fuck the Hamiko niggas. Fuck the Hamiko niggas. It has to be. The black bag Hamiko was carrying was... By the way, this is a little off topic, Suichi, but... how? Huh, what is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But, but it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with that shit. Okay. Nigga, yes the fuck it did. Shut your lying ass up. So that thing Amiko said was bothering him. He really was a bit sensitive. <laughs> no way. Uh, that pussy ass nigga. That pussy ass nigga. Alright, let's see this shit. Hang our shutter. If we do that shit, we go back inside there. I'm cool off that. I'm cool off that. What the fuck else is there to actually investigate? 
Nothing right there. The niggas inside here. Hang our shutter. All right, best. Say less. Say less. The outside of this window. We already did that shit. All right, let me look around the entire fucking hangar then. Fuck this shit. These niggas. Dexel isn't showing any signs of moving. Koko is alive. He can use the remote control to move them as he pleases. But that remote control Koichi had for the Exosols, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Where did he find that shit at, bro? Electro hammer. Whose is this? There's Electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power. It must have been used lately. But we'll use for what? Who the fuck used this shit? But be careful, Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. If I remember correctly. If the Electro Hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours of recharge. We know that for certain. Use Electro Hammer. What the fuck? I remember the side I saw yesterday. Them circling that nigga like, what the fuck was going on inside this shit? Hokuichi said he had the mastermind. The Exos should have turned around to him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma and four of them too? Nigga, they weren't protecting that nigga. They were fucking <laughs> making sure you don't escape, nigga. All right, say less. Pay attention. Listen up. Take heed, I say. Monokuma. It's just I noticed that you came this way last night, Suichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the Bajor movie section of the video store. But you didn't need to sneak around because the Exos wouldn't have attacked hey. you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak? Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies. What are you talking about, Monokuma, bro? What? So in a way, everyone going there is the Wait. same. No, not that, nigga. I mean about the Exos not attacking us. Oh, that time at the Exos were on autopilot and directed to observe me. Hey. I knew it, bro. The movements were limited that you and Monokuma weren't around to pilot them. Autopilot, you mean the remote control that Kokoichi has? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. That nigga's lying his ass off. No, the fuck it's not. Hell nah. But they were focusing on Monokuma. Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Even if someone puts it at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared the info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be all fair to all participants. So someone else besides me knows this? Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay, that's all I can tell you. That's gonna be mad important, bro. What the fuck was that shit? By the way, renting a movies is so old school. It's more doing to illegally download them. Soap.com, my niggas. Soaptoday.com. Let's go, my niggas, bro. Allegedly. Allegedly. It's like trying to get caught for a big game hunter while you're holding your breath during set. All right, this nigga. He horny as shit. He horny as shit, bro. I don't know what the fuck that nigga talking about. This information about the Exosols could be used to clue solving the case. I should remember this. My niggas. If it was me, I wouldn't tell a fucking soul about that clue. Because the first nigga to be like, yo, did you know that you can, like, nigga, how did you know that shit, bro? How did you know that shit? I ain't telling nobody about that. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. And Monokuma dumbass is gone. All right, bet. Say less, my nigga. Say less, bro. What the fuck else do we investigate inside this bum ass hangar then, bro? Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Nothing left? Did we leave? I've investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the hangar now. What? Nigga, I investigated everything, bro. What the fuck? All right, my niggas. Let me find something, bro. I got y'all niggas. The hangar shutter. That shit was turning the fuck off. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it and get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm will go off around the entire academy. We use the electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. And that's how we get into the hangar. So how the fuck did the nigga going inside that should not get caught, bro? What the hell happened with this shit? I think I had more than one buggy bomb, more than one buggy bomb. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs in total. One was stolen by Maki. But what are the other two? Electro bomb added. All right, best. Say less. Say less. Say less. That's about all I was concerned about with the hangar. But I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield us some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom with the bottle of the poison. That's very fucking true, my nigga. I didn't even think about that shit. Right. I should go and inspect the three exos that were protecting Monokuma. Nigga, I already did that shit, bro. Why were they protecting him in the first place? I might be related to the case as well. All right, say less, my nigga. To Maki's lab we go. That bottle of poison in the hangar, I need to confirm that came from here. Alright, say less. Nigga gone! 
I'm like spoiling the fuck of my niggas on today, bro. Let's see. What the fuck is this shit? Small glass bottles. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? Knights hate. What the fuck does this shit even mean? Arsenic antidote, harmlock antidote, knights hate antidote. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know these were here. According to the labels, each bottle only does one dose. So if somebody poisoned the nigga got healed, bro, what? Plain Pokemon, antidotes heal poison, antidotes heal poison. And each one in the specific poison. Well. well, I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poison, so that must be true for antidotes as well. Nigga, okay, then what the fuck are we doing in here, bro? There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside the lab. Yes, we did! The small ball of poison I found must have come from here. We've seen it twice, nigga, inside Miu's case and inside this one. Huh? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. Strike 9 poison? What the fuck is that shit, my nigga, bro? Although it requires time to circulate even a small amount in the body, will result in certain death. Can be lethal. What the fuck? I can't imagine there's a smaller amount of poison inside this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Poison has been added to your truth bullets. Strike 9 poison and antidotes, this is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for strike 9 poison. They're all for different ones. What could this mean? Alright, all right, I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaido isn't dead. On the contrary, there's still plenty of evidence to suggest Kokuichi isn't dead as well. Monokuma is still moving around and the killing game hasn't ended yet. And Kaido's clothes were inside the hydraulic press. Oh my god, man. Which means the victim must be... It's too soon to be thinking like that to investigate a little bit more. I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check it again. Nigga, what is there else to fucking investigate inside that big ass hangar, nigga? I'm going to talk to Miko, bro. Be right back, my nigga. I'm on your ass, Miko. Maki is back? Shuichi. Oh, Suichi, can you come with me, please? Pause! What are you talking about? Is something wrong? I felt something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. There's a turn inside there, nigga. I ain't trying to see that bullshit, bro. I ain't trying to see that shit in there, nigga. He shot it quickly and ran to the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kibo? All right, say less, my nigga. Say less, bro. It better not just be that fucking crossbow. There's a weapon inside here. Ah! That was not right there before. Wait, 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 wait. So Kaido was butt-ass naked, his jacket off. And Kokuichi was butt-ass naked as well, nigga. What were they doing inside here? Hey, yo! Take a look at this. He must have been butt booty ass naked, oiled up. Ah, they gay. These are Kokuichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokuichi's. Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain. I got used to doing it for me. Ugh, you a nasty ass. And put out these clothes. It looked like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Nigga. Why'd you notice the toilet was clogged and then stick your hand in there? You a nasty ass nigga. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yes, it's very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Suichi, please investigate as much as you want to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clogging the toilet, huh? This isn't the time to hesitate. What the fuck? Kokuichi's clothes I found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that yeah. stupid ass shit? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Okay. Kibo, I am! Oh my god! The ultimate detective can't stop here. Woo! This has to be an important All right. clue. Alright, I made up my mind. Grab the Kokuichi so close and spread them open. Hmm. There's a pause in there somewhere. Huh? There's a small hole in the back. And another small hole in the sleeve. This is about the same size as the one as Kaido's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes too. What does this mean? So Kaido, they were fighting to the fucking death low-key. Someone had three crossbows. Kokuchi came inside, saw Kaido doing that shit, ran for it, stabbed him in the arm with the poison bow. Kaido easily maneuvered that shit, stabbed him in the back and the arm as well. And then when he died, he got dragged to the fucking press and squished to death. Did Kaido do this? It could mean he was attacked. In that case... No. 
There's a chance Kokuchi was the one who crushed by the hydraulic press! Thank you. Kibo, thank you. Thank you, it's a very important clue. Well, if I was able to help, but I might decline that handshake. Yeah, exactly, man. I'm shaking your fucking nasty ass turd ridden ass hand, nigga. Yeah. Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. Exactly, nigga. What are you? You decline my hand? But if Kokuichi was the one crushed by the hydraulic press, where did Kaido go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going even though the mastermind is dead? He's not the fucking mastermind, bro. It's Kibo's ass. Um, if this is awkward, Suichi, I can give you some privacy. You're concerned about that? Oh my fucking god, Kibo. Shut your stupid ass up, bro. Kibo and I washed our hands inside the sink and left the bathroom. I need to talk to Maki and Himiko. Himiko, what the fuck was your dumb ass doing over here, my nigga? What were you doing over here? I saw you bringing that fucking bag, nigga. Don't even lie about that shit. Himiko! No, not the goddamn toilet, but she's trying to hide the fucking question, nigga. Leave! No, nigga. No, nigga. No, nigga. No. Here we go. Himiko, let me ask you some fucking questions, my nigga. Don't press the fucking toilet again. Don't press that shit. I'm running. I'm right on Himiko. I'm right on Himiko. Here we go. You and Kiba both look more fresh now. We weren't doing nothing inside that bathroom, nasty ass. No. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom. Even now, you can't help yourselves. Himiko, what are you talking about? What? That's true. Uh, this is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Hell, nigga, ask her about the fucking... Hey, Maki! Maki. Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaido is dead? Kibo, what you got? What you got? What you got? All right. Now that we're out of the bathroom, we can get a lot more thinking done. Okay. Uh, right. Samuga, did you find anything as well, my nigga? Let me see. Let me see. I gotta check. It's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no way to fight Kokuichi? Uh, um. Not a soul could find that nigga. I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He still can't be in the hangar. Wait, nigga, did that fucking Exo move? Or under there? Holy shit. Suichi, you think the one who died was Kokuichi? I, I genuinely think Kaido is still alive somewhere. I don't know why that nigga ran off, but I think it's Kokuichi, bro. It's like, it's too obvious. It's too obvious that he died. Huh? I mean, your face says it's what you think that. But I think it's plain possible. Kokuichi's been manipulating us all from the very start. I can't believe someone like that who could kill by Kaido. Of course, I didn't mean to compliment Kokuichi or anything, make fun of Kaido or anything. I know, you're probably right. Samugi has a good point. I still don't believe enough clues to conclude that Kokuichi died. But I'm certain that one of them I must have. 1000% Kokuichi disappearance. Alright, say less, say less. <laughs> it's about that time. It is time! That's right! It's time for the class trial! Where hope and despair meet head on! Oh my god! Skip this bullshit. Skip this bullshit. Fuck that bum ass nigga. God damn that song is heat. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokuichi or Kaido, whoever is alive, will be there as well. At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. I mean, nigga, do they have to be there? That's the only thing I'm scared about, bro. Like, what if they just don't fucking show up? What if they just don't fucking show up? Then what? What is Monokum gonna fucking do? Wait, hold up. Wasn't somebody inside day one that didn't show up for the class trial? At one point, my nigga, Monokuma dragged that nigga all the way there? Was a hero or some shit, I'm pretty sure? Alright, let's see this, bro. Right over here. I'm scared as fuck. I ain't gonna hold you at all, bro. The fucking burial ground's right over here, so I might as well just fucking walk over there. The choices we have are right here, laid out in front of us. Either one... Kaido's actually dead, and Kokuichi killed that nigga. But there's some like crazy ass fucking mad extensive way he went to kill the nigga. And it's gonna be hard for us to try to guess what the fuck actually happened. Or two, Kokuichi is dead, and Kaido killed that nigga. We have to guess a 50 50 fucking shot who did that shit. And if we get that shit wrong, we're dead as hell. This isn't everyone, right? Kaido and Kokuichi aren't here. I bet Kokuichi is already there. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to revive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaido's alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? And she's meaning that shit from the bottom of her fucking heart this time. I know she is. Maki! 
This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair? Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. And only five will be left. Only five. That's right, we're the only ones left. Why is Samugi here? She is so fucking- Oh my god, she's so damn useless, bro. We can't do despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokuichi no matter what. I have to sacrifice. She ready to go inside there, bro. She is ready. No matter what she has to sacrifice. Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. He say some crazy ass fucking motivational, and then do not a fuck ass thing during the goddamn class trial at all. What would he say to us if it was Kaido? Nigga, fuck that nigga right now. He might be a killer, bro. What is this trial about to goddamn be? Get your bum ass out of here, man. You are not LTG. You are not LTG. Here we go. The final class trial. Woo! Let's go, my niggas. Hell yes. We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. It ain't never showed it go down before. This one is serious. It should have showed like a little fucking dot, dot, dot right there. Like somebody was sitting there watching us. We had lost the will to live, knowing that we know the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we have found a new reason to live. To win the battle of hope and despair. But now, what do we do? We don't know what hope means to us anymore at all, nigga. Look at how empty this fucking elevator is, bro. I would have never guessed it was Kido, Hamiko, and Sumugi left. Maki, yes, my nigga. But those three? Absolutely fucking not. What is hope? A burden you bear? Kokuichi about to be ready down there like, guys, I didn't even do it. It was Amiko. Like, nigga, no, the fuck it wasn't. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Holy shit. Nobody's even there. A battle like this takes me back. After all, hoping to spare natural enemies. Uh, dang it, Rope 1. Yes, that is truly a magnificent theme. Uh, only a steam works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Anyway, where's Kokuichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on? What are you scheming now? It doesn't matter what Kokuichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Where the fuck is the nigga at? Kaido's gonna walk in. Kaido gonna walk in like, uh, let me explain. Like, nigga, no way! Kokuichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of no rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Whatever, hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair. Come on! So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, let's get started. Mix equal parts of life and death, add a dash of lies and truth, bake it with the fires of conflict, and when the golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Where the fuck is Kaido at? Or Koko Ichi? And once more, we face a class trial. Nigga, who's alive? Was the one who died Kaido or Koko Ichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe Kaido wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strangely. And their fucking pictures are purple, bro. They truly don't know. Hamiko's the last one inside here. They still got three of her. They got three for three over here. Damn. Uh, they lost two niggas right there. I'm by my fucking self. And Kokoichi. The grass don't hope the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight this trial of truth and lies!